Michael Green, founder of Michael Green Architecture in Vancouver, BC and New York, is internationally recognized for his commitment to creating sustainable and environmentally responsible buildings for 21st century residential and commercial needs. Here are Michael's views on the role of wood in modern architecture. So I, I've become passionate about this idea that wood is an, you know, an incredible material and it's, I think, going through a, a really interesting phase of being reinvented in modern architecture. For a long time, for the last century, we'd seen concrete and steel really take over as the modern materials, the man-made materials. And now I think we're realizing that natural materials are perhaps far more sophisticated, far better for our health to be around, far better for the planet. And 16% of man's fossil fuel use goes into the making and manufacturing of just steel and concrete. We need to reduce that. And the forest and trees have this incredible advantage of both being lower energy materials to work with, but also trees soak up carbon dioxide as they grow. When you harvest them, that carbon dioxide is stored in the material, and so you, you really are creating a, a sink for carbon dioxide and helping address climate change. That is really the exact opposite of most other materials that we, that we build with in the world. And so, you know, trees have this very unique role in, in helping us counteract climate as long as it come, the trees come from sustainable forest practices. I largely look at sustainability as a matter of responsibility. Whenever we go about building with wood, we want to understand where that wood came from. It's very wonderful to know that when we source wood in North America, the vast majority of wood sourced in North America comes from sustainably managed forests. If we think about sustainable forestry, it's about really understanding the complexity of the ecosystem, understanding the complexity of our relationship with the land, and really um, understanding how um, if we select trees properly and harvest trees properly and replant trees properly, that we are creating a really organic way of thinking about the future of building. And we've seen a huge change over time where, um, you know, environmental groups who have thankfully been very wonderful at protecting the interests of the forest have also come to understand that using trees is actually very much part of the environmental story. And so we've seen a transformation of that understanding. The real revolution that's happening in wood is, is because we're no longer thinking of wood as these solid timbers coming from old growth trees. We're thinking about wood as younger trees, gluing the wood fiber together to make very strong, very large panels of, of wood or engineered wood that are very, very strong. Wood in its strength to its weight is, is um, you know, comparable to steel and concrete. And, and so it's a remarkable material. Um, for a natural material. And so that change in technology also means that we're using younger trees, faster growing trees, trees that actually sequester carbon dioxide from the atmosphere faster when they're young. And so they're harnessing the carbon dioxide in the, in the wood when we build with it a little more. And so and for all these reasons, we now have these products because of their large scale that allow us to build much larger scale buildings. And it makes it a very exciting time to be a designer. And it's an exciting thing to think about the future of cities with these much taller, much bigger wood buildings really start to become a very common part of the way we live. As architects, this is the first time we've had a new structural material to build with in a century. I absolutely am convinced that these buildings will become commonplace, that we will all not only get used to them, but we will want them. And for a whole host of reasons, including human health issues and life and quality experience. I work in this environment of a wood building because I love the feeling of the building. You know, LEED certification is, um, is, is a very important uh, way to bring the quality, the environmental performance of buildings up to a certain standard. Wood in particular is something that LEED is really learning more and more about. As I mentioned, you know, there is huge support now for wood buildings and it's hugely understood its benefits from a sustainability point of view. But the LEED point structure doesn't always fit to that model. And each certification program has pros and cons in different environments. It's most important that the wood is certified. Which certification program, I'm not sure, matters as much. And unfortunately, lead points are currently attached to that. So that there's some you know, controversy in the subject, but I think it's, um, it's an important one to work through because lead is not helping wood buildings um, happen more often. And we need it to. I've really come to believe that we have to be looking, and, and we already do this with sciences, with medicines, really looking to the forest and looking to nature for answers to a lot of the complexities of life's problems. And the answers are, I think, almost always going to be found in the natural world. And 
in architecture that starts with wood and the power of mother nature. We are creating a really organic way of thinking about the future of building. But I think every tree has to be given a life that as a wood product that lasts for generations because that tree deserved it. <laughs>